creeping up to the restart zone, and the green flag is out in the air. Don Darnell on the inside. Josh Kreider on the outside. We're going to be duking it out going into turn one as the double zero is giving the five. A great push going into turn one. The 69 and the 99 are trying to prevail on the bottom, and they do. They're getting a great run through one and two at the moment. Jordan Kreider being the powerhouse of the bottom side right now. All over the rear bumper of the 99 as they're coming down the back straightaway now. Off of turn four, looks like the 99 got a little squirrely there as he rounds himself back straight. Coming through the trial now, we've got side-by-side -side racing for the lead position with Matthew Later giving a great push to the five. Well, look, look, three wide, four wide. We're wrecking in the back here now. We've got lots of cars involved. The number 18 back here, Bryant Lucas. The number Second lane gets him a little bit out of that. Six car up on the top side, maybe helping a little bit there. 18 just getting collected there. This is what happens. This is Talladega. Yeah, as you got the Kreider boys on the inside working really well together. Jo Josh Kreider leading the two. As you got on the outside, it looks like Leiter's going to get a little bit of help here from Connolly on the outside. They're going to stay side by side here through turns three and four. It looks like the inside line is going to prevail a little bit here as the four cars are tucked up real nice, real lined up and conservative here off of turn four. It looks like we're still going to stay side by side here. Across the trail. Josh Kreider inching ahead of the double zero car. Matthew Leiter coming through the trioval and across the start finish line. It looks like Leiter is going to lead that lap. Yeah, they've got a good amount of run. You've seen the 38 car. He's been working that outside line, but now he's got a little bit of help here with Williams. Williams in line way up on the outside, and now the 77 dipping back out to the outside. It looks like they're trying to get a little racy up here and go three wide, as you do see a little bit of three wide action. Here comes the 16 car to the outside. That's one. He's going to have help from behind with Underwood. Can they make it work? Is they're going to try and challenge us inside line as we got a clear here with the double O taking the lead now. The 38 car is making a run for the lead. How incredible that is on the outside. Three wide for the past two laps now. He makes it work with all the support he needs behind him. Dylan Carrier now uh, in the P2 position. Helping that 13, 38 car uh, continue to lead this race. Coming off of turn four now, we're going to be seeing these guys, these two cars leading this field. Nathan Line taking the chance on the third lane, making it happen, making it work. And he's going to lead his second consecutive lap. Jordan Hand still making it three wide up on the top here. He's doing a great job. And oh, we got a big wreck here through three and four. And Brian Underwood, we've got... Dylan Carrier there. We got cars around in turn four. These guys were already wrecking. He gets hard damage on the outside wall. Just a little bit of contact there with the 77. And the car underneath him. The three car trying to block the one car on what he wants to go, but Kreider, he is taking the le the line less traveled by now as he goes to the inside. He's got a little bit of help from the 19. He's going to challenge the three car going into one and two, coming off a of turn two now, going down the back straightaway. It looks like maybe the three car is going to have a little bit of a run. Now Jordan Hand is leading that outside line as they now come nose to nose on the back straightaway and going into turn three. It's going to be a drag race. A little bit of a drag race. Now you see Hand go to the outside. We got half a lap to go here in this stage. Who's going to get the points? Who's going to be victorious? As Kreider is leading the bottom line, the outside and the middle line are fading here a little bit. Does anybody got to run behind? Coming out of turn four. It looks like the inside line still prevailing here through the trial. But here comes the, a car to the outside. That would be the 79 of Danny White. Can he make a challenge here to the line? It looks like it's going to be Jordan Kreider across the line. His line is wrecking big wreck behind. Then the stage. What a battle up here for the lead of this race. It sure is a great battle that we're witnessing. Four cars on the outside versus everybody. And the 19 car continues to prevail. Coming down the back straightaway now, the 19 just inches ahead as Landon Burbage does take that position back in P1. But maybe the 8 car just has to cool off a little bit as all that pushing does get that motor a little bit warm. You don't want to expire one right now as they're now losing a little bit of help. The 99 coming down to the bottom lane. It's now three cars versus everybody coming into the trioval now.
Yeah, as they've worked their way back up to the leader, side by side again with the two of Burbage. The 8 and the 19 are just on rails right now. These cars are so fast, working together phenomenally here off of turn 4. And the 19's going to leak ahead. He led a couple laps ago. Can he get back to the lead this time? by? As he get, he's going to go to the inside. He's going to abandon his help of the 8 car as Cisco. He's going to take the inside line. Burbage is going to push him across the line, and he's going to lead that lap. Is the 8 car as Cisco? He's trying to battle back on the outside. Help from your pole sitter, Darnell, in a turn one. We're going to drag race here down. The Alabama gang super stretches that outside line. has got a big run coming here in a turn three. 54 on the outside. He has cleared the 19, and so is the 88. They're coming low. A little bit of turning. Oh, the idiot oh, is around. Noah Blackwell. He is still sideways. Is he going to save it? He does so far. Not getting a good picture here. Does he make contact with the inside wall? Maybe a little bit. Take it a little slow. We can see the 88 just wasn't clear. Very, very close. Coming across the nose of the 19. 19 of Berenger making a little bit of contact with the 99. He's going to get a little bit sideways there as well as the 19 gets into the grass a little bit. Everybody pushing up to the wall very close there for the six car. Making just slight contact with the it's wall. So the intensity is picking up as we're closing in on the halfway point here at Talladega. Absolutely. Here comes the 88. He's looking to lead this lap, and he will lead this lap. He's coming down to the bottom side. The 54 now is going back to the second car on the inside line. Noah Blackwell holding strong to the lead of that race. We talked to him just before this restart, and he is nervous to be up front without a quick repair. So we'll see how this works out for him. The 16 now making a research on the outside. That's the 19 right there. He's going to lap down. Melvin Berenger, not what he exactly wanted now going being a lap down. But the 88 and the 16 still duking it out for the lead of this race. Coming off of turn four now, we're seeing the 88 hold strong on the bottom. The 16, though, did take the lead of this race for a split second there. He is coming back on the outside. Who's going to lead the halfway point? Is it going to be the 16 or the 88? We're wrecking in the back. That's the 18 of Henry Dudley. He's getting turned around. Blackwell does lead the halfway point of this race as everybody's going sideways and carnage ensues. We're watching these guys go at it here through the tri-oval, the double zero and the 18 making a little bit of contact there. 18 gets into Landon Burbage. Landon Burbage does make a little bit of contact with the 18 and the double zero. Where else wow. to go but up? Look at Burbage barely avoiding contact there. That was impressive. Does he? Oh, he did get a little bit of contact there from the 95. Oh. The 95 hitting sideways right there avoiding that outside wall what a great great car control that 95 had oh and then in the back the 38 of line gets some wall contact and there's there's the six car chick or six truck as well oh man Big contact to the outside wall yeah, as the inside line's working really well together, even match now, as now we got the 72 and Gas to continue to try to get to the front. Oh, and they're going to bail on it. Williams to the outside, Connolly to the outside. They're going to leave him out in the middle, right in the middle of the pack. They're going to hang him out to dry it. But here comes the eight of Cisco. We've seen how great this guy is all night long at pushing. As he's going to try and get to the rear bumper here of Gaston and maybe work together. Oh, as you see, the 99 of Darnell go to the inside line. Maybe a little little loose there off of turn two, but now the inside line is going to prevail as we're jockeying for position back here. Coming through the tri-oval, it's the 54 versus the 25 of Connolly. Coming across the start-finish line, too close to call. It looks like it was Connolly to lead that lap. Lap 55 completed. On to lap 56 of 88. John Darnell looking to the outside of the 25. Maybe a little bit of, uh, of looseness happening there for the 99, or maybe he was overheating a little bit. We don't know. These guys are pushing extremely strong on the outside. Here comes, who is that? The 72 of Gaston. And he's looking to make an outside line. Here comes the eight of Cisco. Cisco is a great pusher. He's going to be able to get to the rear bumper of that 72 and make a challenge for the lead. Coming off at turn four now. As the eight car is just all over the rear bumper of the 72. Getting him to the lead. And now he might be going low. No, we're three wide. We're three wide off at turn two as these guys continue to duke it out. 
Wow, they're gonna hang Gaston out to dry in the middle. Is now good passers gonna push Cisco? Cisco's looking to get back to the front of this field. Is now he's gonna lose his hope for good passers. Gaston's gonna try and get back to his bumper. A little bit of cat and mouse game up here in the front. This outside line. Oh, he's got a big shove by Gaston right into the rear bumper of Cisco. He hangs on to it. This is incredible racing up here at the front of the pack. The laps are winding out here at Talladega, and the intensity has risen. The 88 right now on that outside lane, challenging such a organized inside lane at the moment. The A car is electing to let the 72 car by with the 29. Maybe going to drop back to the back here. Oh, it looks like something's happening to the A car here. He's dropping back far. He's going way to the back here as uh, as Thomas Cisco just continues to drop. It's big news. It looks like the A-car might be out of fuel there. He's probably going to elect to tow to pit lane. He does. What an unfortunate uh, circumstance there. Here comes pit road. We're on the pit sequence now. Look at the move by the 16 there of Wood. What a move. Now these guys probably coming to pit road pretty soon here. Four car off at turn four right now. And here they come, the four. The double zero, the 18 elects to stay out. As he is one lap down though, but these guys, Jeffrey Goodpaster, Gaston, getting a little sideways there, coming down pit road. The, the field of cars that pitted, Matthew Wood in the 16. Look at these guys, they are so organized. They're gonna get a huge lead off of that seventh place of Goodpaster. Everybody else now coming along. That's Connolly now all the way up or, uh, to P7. Dylan Carrier uh, to the back of the lead pack. We're looking at a four, almost five second gap between sixth and seventh. Now this is one pack right here. These guys need to work together to get back to the front. Dylan Carrier is the last guy there, but we're looking at five and a half seconds between Jordan Hand. Oh, the six cars wrecking. He's in the back. That's Grayson Luce Lucas. We're uh, under caution now, these guys. The 19 making huge contact with the inside wall. The double zero of Lighter is there as well. Because now the middle line is working. We got a third line. Jordan Hand with Williams pushing him on the outside. Wow, we got a little bit of three wide action here off a of turn two. And coming down the back straight away now, that 16 seems to be losing that advantage that he has as the three car now is getting the run he needs to challenge for the lead of this race. Going into turn three now, he's inching closer to his door. The 16, here comes the 99 on the inside. He's getting a huge push by the 88 of Noah Blackwell. The 99 is out front at the moment. These guys continuing to duke it out. We're still three wide for the lead. Coming through the trial now. Still three wide going down the back straightaway and into turn three. That three car really turning up the heat, saying this third lane can work if I get the support. And he does have the support. Now they're battling it out on the bottom side. John Darnell's coming back to try to get his nose out front. Coming off of turn four, going into the trioval. We're going to be seeing a great battle for the lead here. The 99 is... Coming back a little bit. Here comes the 29 to the inside of the 16. Here comes the 95. He cuts the nose off of the 99 and we're wrecking. John Darnell around hits the 38 and everybody else spreads out to try and avoid the wreck. And they do. Incredible. Go a little bit slower. we got a lot going on. Lots of lane change in here. 95 again goes right in front of the 99. And the 99 is uh, is around there, getting up to the inside wall, collecting Brian Underwood with that. The four car really nowhere to go. Unfortunate. 38 gets tagged. That's unfortunate, too. 38 was trying to come back on his tour. Get back to the, the front. The double O car there barely avoided that one as well. Wow. Yes, yeah, the outside line. Look at the 54. Carrier, he's coming around the outside line here. We're going to go three wide again. Gaston's going to go help him out on the outside. But the 29 car continues to lead here through three and four. 
as Hand is on the inside. Help from Williams. We got a little bit of a side-by-side -side battle. Oh, is going to leave the 29 out to dry? Here comes Wood on the outside. And now the five car. Here comes Joshua Kreider. Floor wide through the trial This is incredible. Oh, we got contact in the wall. Goes the five floor wide across the line. They hold it together. We're still far wide and we're wrecking in the back. Into the wall they go sideways. That's the 18 of Henry Dudley. Turned around once again. The seven Real slow here, as you can see. It looks like the 25 just felt pinched there. He's already got a car on the outside of him as he gets into the wall now. Just four wide situation between these guys. You can see the wheel working now that William Connolly is doing. And into the wall. Gets snagged on the outside there. Almost One. went over there as well with that side contact to the right side. Oh, man. Lots of damage, lots of contact that we're seeing from everybody. It looks like even the 88s uh, was heavily involved in that. You can see the left front there took a lot of the brunt of the hit that he made. Oh, here comes the 16 in the third lane. He's trying to make something happen now. Three wide in a turn one. Not a lot of support that he has behind him. He needs that support to make that third lane work, but it's not. He's dropping back even further. Nathan Williams and Josh Kreider continue to battle it out. Coming down the back straightaway now. Half a lap to go here at Talladega. You got Kreider on the inside, Williams on the outside, side by side, down the Alabama Gang Super Stretch for the final time. Down into turn three, Underwood is pushing Kreider for all he's worth here into turn three. Off of turn four, Kreider continues to lead. Williams, does he have help behind him with hand? Has he got a third line forming? That's the four car. Do they got a run coming to the line? It looks like Kreider is going to continue to lead. Oh, his Williams is sideways. Big crash in the back. Is it looks like Kreider's going to get started by Underwood. The 72. 72. Gaston wins. Gaston wins at the line. Unbelievable finish. What? Jonathan, this is Thomas and Jay in the booth. You got a copy? I sure do. How you doing? Wow. I am just beside myself with this finish of this race. Holy cow. Yeah, that was something, wasn't it? I, I swear to God, I had a lucky <laughs> rabbit's foot. I, I said earlier... I was in every position in that race at one point. I was first, I was last, I was in the middle. I was. Uh, I had to have a, a pit stop pit stop because I had to use a bathroom at one point. So it, it's been a night. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> wow. Well, look, you saw the chaos ensuing in front of you. You took a, a defensive line, really, to try and get yourself through the wreck, coming to the finish line, and you come out on top. Did you uh, – I mean, really – you saw what happened between the five and the 77 in front of you. And, um, you know, what was going through your head at that second? I, <laughs> I tell you, when I saw them get together, I, I thought I was going to finish at least third or fourth, but when I saw them get together, I just held it to the floor. Like I was most of the race and turned <laughs> her left and, uh, closed my eyes, honestly. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Honestly, it was a fantastic finish uh, that we saw here with these guys tonight. And um, congratulations on your win. What a way to start off Season 3 with the checker flag. Congratulations on your P1 finish. Jay, that's all I got for Jonathan here. What do you got for him? Yeah, Jonathan, I mean, what a what an absolute race. You were a contender all night long. We saw you run up front. And what's the old adage in racing? If you to first fin or to finish first, you must first finish, and you prove that here tonight. Incredible finish! And uh, I guess my question is, who do you have to thank for this awesome performance tonight? Well, I'm gonna thank uh, first and foremost my wife uh, for letting me do this. Uh, we we have a special needs child, and he takes a lot of time and effort. And uh, if it wouldn't be for her helping helping with him whenever I I'm in here, uh, I wouldn't be able to do this. I want to thank the guys over there at Lightyear. They brought me on. Uh, this is the first time I've ever grouped up with a with a team, per se, and uh, uh, got on board with them. And uh, I'm glad I'm glad to put it out front. And uh, just uh, uh, it was nice seeing a lot of my a lot of these trucks running around here. I I personally painted, and uh, <laughs> I, I thought it, I thought that was pretty cool racing against guys that uh, I painted a lot of these trucks. And I want to shout out to uh, some of my students. I know they're watching right now. Uh, 
I actually have an online racing club in the high school that I teach at, so they're going to get a kick out. Well, they're going to get a kick out of this when we roll in next Friday and we set up the the racing sim for them to watch. <laughs> oh, nice. that's awesome! That is awesome! That is awesome. First and foremost, though, I'd like to comment and say uh, what an absolute saint your wife is, and a huge shout out to her for uh, for for letting you drive and and giving us some great content tonight. Huge shout out to her. And, uh, and thank you uh, for giving Jonathan the time to come out here tonight. Um, but nonetheless, uh, thanks for coming out, John. We really appreciate it. This finish was just one for the memory books, something we'll look back on for a long time now to, to be able to say, wow, what just happened? Uh, but, uh, congratulations again, Jonathan, and uh, we hope to see you in the next one. Oh, I'll definitely be there. It's a heck of a start to a season. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs>